In this video, I'm gonna be giving you a defensive formula or a system for how you can defend the trips tight end in Madden 21. It's a very safe way to play defense. It's actually also a very effective way. If you wanna play a bim but don't break style, uh, you're gonna find a lot of success with this. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my, uh, my channel is about, my name's Cody and my channel is all just about helping people get better at this game. If you wanna get better at Madden 21, we upload videos every single day that can help you become a better player on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you uh, to click the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to know whenever we release new videos. Now, like I said, in this video, we're going to be specifically focusing in on how you can actually go about really being successful against the trips tight end offense, off, or the trips tight end offense. Um, it's one of the best offenses in Madden 21. I actually have a full guide on that as well, and I'll leave that down in the description. But if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defensive guide, you can get that for just $15. I believe that the nickel 335 and 335 wide are the best two defenses in Madden. And when you combine that with the really, really powerful powerful uh, nickel normal most people don't realize how good nickel normal really is it becomes very very locked down so i want to talk about my coaching adjustments first auto flip was on ball and air defense i actually heard that from uh, one of my subscribers uh des that you know, if you put it to play receiver it makes it very very good i mean it just basically is very very tough to um it's better than play ball Okay, I don't know. I'm just testing it out. So I heard it from him and I, I trust his judgment. So I'm going to test it out. So play receiver, cornerback matchups on balance, option defense on conservative. These two are always on balanced. And then flats are going to be on 30, curl flats are going to be on 10, and hooks are going to be on five, just like that. And this is a very fun little defense that you're going to learn today. I think you're going to have a lot of success with it. And we're going to dive into it really quickly here for you. So basically what we're going to do and really the thought process and the theory behind this is essentially what we want to do is we want to play cover four to the wide side of the field and we want to play cover two to the short side of the field. We want to play cover four to the wide side of the field and we want to play cover two to the short side of the field. So the way that this is going to practically look is we're going to shift our defense to the right. We're going to crash our defensive line out. And like I said, from a, from a secondary perspective, we're going to play essentially cover six, right? So we're going to put the corner on the right side in a cloud flat. And then we're going to put the safety on the right side into a deep half. Now from there, we have several different options of things that we can do. What I like to do, um, just simple, 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 simple defense for this. I like to go ahead and put my defensive lineman here on the right side um, into a three rec hook zone, just like this right here. And then what I'm gonna do on the left side is I'm gonna take the circle receiver and he, or the circle uh, linebacker, the linebacker that's over the circle receiver. So this guy right here, Amos. I'm going to take him and I can do a lot of different things with him. There's a lot of things, a lot of opportunities that I can have with him. But really at the core um, of what I want to do is I just want to man him up onto the circle receiver. Okay, just simply man him up on the circle receiver and that's it. That's all you're going to do. And basically what you're going to watch happen is pretty darn good coverage. So this is curl flat. This is one of the best passing concepts in Madden 21. The flat zone will probably get open like the flat route will. But as you can see, I mean, and I'm just usering over the middle. My primary responsibility is to use her over the middle of the field. So if we take a look um, at another play that is very popular from this formation, uh, this play right here, which is a uh, little doubles and sale concepts, actually a very glitchy play that most people don't really fully grasp how to run it. But again, we're going to set the same defense up. So we're going to put the three wreck out there on the right side. You do that by putting him in a bluff blitz. We're going to put man coverage with the curl flat zones. And then we're going to have circle manned up. And so if you watch how this works, again, what you're going to notice here is we're going to pretty much have everything taken away in that vein as well. We're going to be able to take away you know, a lot of really, really good offenses just by simply manning up that circle receiver. Another play that a lot of people like to run, especially trips tight end users, when they start to see that you're going to a lot of zone zone coverage, is you're going to see that they're actually going to run a lot of stuff like this right here. They're going to put a little hitch out there. They're going to put a little underneath those little underneath patterns that are so common. And so you might see something like that. So basically, you're just going to use her like right in here. You're just going to kind of fill that in and take that away with your user. If you wanted to take away that, um, if you wanted to, 
And if you weren't concerned as much about run defense as I am, then what I would tell you to do is to take the uh, lineman on the left side and put him in the three rack. And the reason why is because let's say that they run the little angle route to the running back. You're going to see that he's going to sit better on that. I mean, he didn't stop it, but he's set in a better spot to stop it. Okay. Um, so that's another thing that you can do. If you're not worried about the run or you feel like you're pretty confident in the ability to shoot the run, then I would recommend – you know, shifting it this direction. This is actually a better shift because obviously you have your three receiver side that you've got to be careful of. But, you know, just be mindful of all of this stuff. But as you can see right here, I mean, he kind of sits right there. He's able to swat the ball down. So a three rec hook is going to do good against both of those things. And then another popular concept um, that you're going to see is you're going to see something like this. So this is Pat's YN. Um, and what we're going to do is we're actually just going to run it, you know, kind of like a, you know, very, very good uh, little yard, you know, way to way to really get some yardage on this. So, um, again, we're going to go with that cover two style on the right. We've got cover four drop style on the left side. And if you wanted to on the left side, like let's say that you played this and you don't like how this works. Another thing that you can do is you can go ahead and put essentially a Mabel coverage out there if you want to if you want to do that you can do that as well that's another option um if you're going to do that i would just recommend that instead of shifting your line to the right shift them to the left so that you can get the three reg on the left side this is pretty darn good coverage um, you'll see it. it's very good on trips the trip side right there and as you can see the coverage really does hang on that post route. The post route's not open. A lot of people will think, well, I could throw the post route against that. Not exactly, it's not really that open. Um, and then the last thing that I wanna cover is something like a, or actually two more routes that I wanna cover. So uh, the next route that I wanna cover is curl flat with a tight end corner. So if they run like a tight end corner, um, again, this is your setup. Now, one thing that you can do, and I don't do this a lot, um, this is one thing, this is like a, a super, super high level tip. Specific, it's very, 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 very specific for trips tied in. If you want to keep that inside quarter there, you can, unless they motion over. So for example, let's say that they're running, um, let's say that they're running devils in sale, okay? And let's say that they're running it just like that, where they, 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 they're going to run the three wide version. You don't have to put the deep half out there until they actually motion somebody across. So if it's like this, you don't have to put a deep half out there. You can leave it just like this. And what's going to happen is you're just going to notice that that inside guy is just he's just going to play other stuff. He'll play other stuff. He won't play everything, but he'll play other stuff. He'll, he'll be a good zone for you. Um, another thing that you can do if you wanted to is let's say that I was doing something like uh, curl flat and I went with that setup right there. One of the things that you can do as your user responsibility basically is if the tight end goes vertical, you're gonna hang with him. But then what that can allow you is it can allow you some other flexible options. So um, we talked about why you know it makes a lot of sense to put this guy here in a hard flat you've got a seam flat there but then what you could do if you wanted to is you could create essentially like a little um i mean you could create even a cover two on the on the left so you could do something like this right here it's actually a super underrated little coverage but it's very good the only thing you have to watch out for is if the tight end again if they motion if they motion then what you want to do is you want to throw it into a cover two because now they now they don't have anybody that can threaten you up the vertical seams. So that's another little method that you could use. And the reason I'm, I'm bringing that up is because if they try to throw a streak right here to the tight end, like if I try to throw that to the right, I can't throw it. It's not really there. I have to wait for it to clear over the top. By that time, the user should be on that. And the other thing that a reason that I like this is, and the other reason that I like this is because if they're running a play like curl flat, this is, this is really another really huge point, I think. But basically, you're going to see I've got cover two on that right with the 30-yard cloud flat. Because that cloud flat is 30 yards, he can't really get over that. It's, it's very difficult for him to get over that. He can, but it's very difficult. So 
that is why this is the best defense for trips tight end because it takes away a lot of the powerful concepts that trips tight end has to offer. And if you want to get my entire nickel 335 wide defensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video for just $15. It will literally walk you through step by step how to build the best defense in man 21. I'll walk you through how to literally defend pretty much every major formation in the entire game, like bunch tight end and bunch and trips tight end and spread and strong close and all all of that and so if you want to learn all of that for just $15 you can get the defensive guide in the description I'm gonna leave a link down below thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions feel free to text me my cell phone number is 208-218-6900